Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching. My name is Jessica Loper and I am here to offer you both practical and intuitive guidance to support you with being yourself and reaching your goals. So what we're going to do is go back and forth between two topics every other week or two themes, I guess you could say. So beginning of the week, um, I'll put out a video every other week. So we're going to go back and forth between getting in the flow and staying on track. So today we're going to start with getting in the flow. And then in two weeks, the next video will be uh, surrounding themes of staying on track. Uh, I really feel like both are important. That's what's really helped me to make more progress in becoming the person I want to be and reaching more of my goals. I I think both are so important. It's important to have that flowy energy connecting to the divine, going with the flow. Uh, but we also need to take action. We need to have a plan. We need to have goals and we need to get things done. Uh, we need both. So that is my plan. And as far as videos go, is just every other week we'll We'll integrate both of those as, as needed. Okay. So for today, I feel like the message coming through is actually really around just sticking to whatever intentions you have set recently. And if you haven't set any intentions recently, it's not too late to do so. So maybe you can take um, a few minutes and actually we're, we're going to take a few deep breaths together and, and allow messages to come through in just a minute here so you can um, get in the space to set an intention of that time at that time. Now, if you have recently set intentions, it's just that reminder to review and and look, you know, like, do you have a notebook? Do you have a journal? Maybe you type something in your phone. Is there something that has come to you just maybe in the past few days or the past week where you set an intention or a goal or a plan of some kind? Um, so let's just water those seeds, right? <laughs> Using the um, planting analogy here. Okay. Like if you've already planted seeds, let's just, let's nourish them. Let's water them. Let's remember our why. Why did you set this intention or goal? Um, and how can you stay in that, that energy of, of reaching it? And a lot of times what can help us is to remember our why also it's interesting. Sometimes the things that help us remember our why are actually things that make us angry or impatient. Okay. So don't be afraid to just let yourself feel whatever comes up for you. If you feel angry, if you feel discouraged, um, or like there's some kind of setback. Oftentimes our setbacks tend to be blessings in disguise. It's not fun to look at it that way, but it can, it can be helpful. So, um, and maybe you're not feeling that way. It's just kind of that general reminder that when you do feel angry or setback that use it, sometimes it can be the fuel to the fire to get you moving, to get you motivated, to get you do, to do what you need to do. Um, so just allow all thoughts, feelings that come through to come through. Okay. So also, you know, those good reminders, those, those little blessings and miracles that just happen on a day-to-day -day basis, or maybe it's just a nice conversation with someone, whatever it is. Okay. Let's keep, keep it going. You know, um, I also feel like another message coming through is to be patient with those around us this week. There's just a lot of energy right now. There may be some moodiness. So if you're, maybe it's kids or other family members, a spouse, coworkers, neighbors, whoever it is around you, I feel like that message and reminder is just coming through to just have a little extra patience and grace with people this week. Um, because there is, there's some intense energy coming up for people. And if you can just give people a little bit more space, a little bit more patience, it's going to help you to 
stay in a better place as well. With that being said, yes, still stand up for yourself. Don't take abuse. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, might not be the net best week to be a nag. <laughs> Maybe it's not ever good to be a nag, but if, you know, the kind of that nagging energy, let's just, let's put that on hold. It's not the right time. It's not the right, it just, it's not feeling like the week to get after people, you know? Um, definitely still stand up for yourself, but just give people a little extra time, a little patience. If they're not getting back to you, you know, whatever it is, let's just give people a little extra space this week. Okay, so um, I did make some notes. Let me see what else. Ooh. Oh, okay. Another another thing that I am feeling is to give yourself permission to have what it is you desire. So this kind of comes back to the intention setting and, and following through. Uh, if there's any part of you that is just not feeling like you deserve what it is you want, we're going to kind of feel through that when we take, take our deep breaths, I feel like. Um, so when things get good, sometimes it gets uncomfortable. Sometimes we self-sabotage. So I just want to give you that reminder that if you start noticing those feelings, like definitely acknowledge it, just acknowledge what you're noticing. Um, and then give yourself that reminder. It's, it's okay to let things be good. I welcoming good opportunities, good changes, and I'm good with feeling good. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I think that's, that's everything I was going to mention. And now I'm going to invite you to just get still for a moment. We're going to take a few deep breaths. If you're in a position where you can close your eyes, you're welcome to do so. Um, if you're driving or multitasking or whatever it is you're doing, <laughs> then just leave your eyes open or pause this and come back to it later when you can relax a little. Okay. So I don't know. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've done this together. Well, unless you're new to me, but if you've known me for a while, it's been a while. So it's good to get in this space again. We'll just take a few minutes. Just pay attention to your breath. Allow your shoulders to relax. Go ahead and roll your roll your neck a couple times both ways. Just helping our body to relax. If you want to roll your shoulders, just get still. If there's any tension, let's just kind of scan our body. Are there any areas that feel tight? As you go throughout your day, <clears throat> anytime you notice a spot feeling tight, just put some attention there. Talk to your body. It's good to talk to your body. Talking to your body is more powerful than you know. So just kind of want to invite you and remind you to talk to your body more. Just say it, whatever comes up. Okay, hip. Let's relax a little. Send some breath. Send some breath to any areas. That was just an example. I'm not saying your hips are tight. <laughs> maybe they are, maybe they aren't. <laughs> Ooh, so let's just take a deep breath, breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Send breath to whatever area needs it. Breath is life. And breath to any of those areas that need to relax. It is safe to relax. 
It is safe for me to relax. It is safe for me to be in my body. If you're new to me, it's not uncommon for us to just have some quiet time. So if I'm ever guiding you through something and, and it's quiet for a few seconds or 30 seconds, just, just take that time to connect with yourself and focus on your breath. I invite you to put your attention into your heart space. And just notice, is there a particular feeling or color that comes up for you? Just let it be. safe to feel whatever comes up for you. There are no wrong thoughts or feelings at this time. And allow whatever intention has been on your mind Or maybe it's just something you've been feeling. The mind and heart are both important. They're both important. Sometimes we get after our mind, you know, and we've been in our head or that monkey mind. Let's just remind ourselves that our minds are a powerful tool. <sighs> we do need them. I just kind of want you to just picture a cord of light just going up from your heart to your head. Almost like it's circulating. I thank you, mind and heart, for working together. I appreciate you, mind. I appreciate you, heart. Thank you for working together. Oh. Now, what is that intention? The one you've recently set, or if you don't have one yet, allow that. Come through, ask yourself, what intention can I set at this time? benefit my overall being and any progress I want to make moving forward. How does this intention help you? What's the purpose of it? Is there an end goal in sight? Or is it just something to help you be more present now? Maybe it's both. Just let that intention be planted in your heart space at this time. Let it sit there. And invite your mind to help. We're a team, mind and heart, we're a team. Thank you for working together to help me with this intention. Mm.
Okay. Just gonna take a few more deep breaths together. Just breathe at your own pace. When you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Mm. Okay. All right. And for some extra support, if you're feeling led, some sandalwood. Oh, call in the energy of sandalwood. If you have some sandalwood essential oil, that may be supportive for you this week. I'll help with that, you know, physical and spiritual connection, heart and mind connection. Mm. Okay. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'll be back in two weeks, depending on when you're watching this. Let's see, what is it? It's September 9th. So around September 23rd, give or take a day, we'll have another video for you. Be a good follow up to this one. If you feel like you need to listen to this again, you can absolutely do that. Thank you for liking and subscribing and we'll see you again soon. Take care.